Okay, we're back and we're gonna to try to install this thing now that we've got everything in. As you can see, I've got a little tray I bought off Amazon. I didn't do a review of this. I'm not even sure I had a YouTube channel whenever I bought this. This is actually a good little tray. I think it was like 20 some dollars. It does come with little rubber mats in the bottom. Um, so if you're not wanting a safe, this tray is, is actually pretty nice. I mean, it just sits down in there and it holds everything pretty good. So, you know, if you're not looking for one of these and you don't want to drill holes in your console, which I didn't, and the factory um, Toyota tray has you drill holes in it, um, this is not a bad little safe. Or not safe, but a little tray. But we have to take everything out of here now. And as you can see, I have a bunch of junk in here and I'm just gonna throw it in the back. It's not all junk, I have a tourniquet in there and some safety glasses and you know, a little airway device for CPR. It's just some medical stuff, some band-aids and a small medical kit. A couple of knives, multi-tool, some straws. Okay, some of it's junk. I didn't know I had another box of them. I'm just throwing all that stuff in the back because I have to take it all out anyway. Then you have to take this out. And then there's some 10 millimeters down in here. I think you have to, I think they're 10 millimeters. I hope, yes. You have to remove these right here. I'm just gonna get them started. It's kind of awkward doing this because you're at a weird angle. So now, hopefully, I've done that enough to where I can actually just take this section that won't even work. So I am gonna have to continue to either get them loose enough for I can unscrew like this, which this one is, or I'll continue to have to use that because I don't have an adapter out here with me. I do have one inside, but I don't have one out here. It does come with screws and washers to install this with, so you won't need these factory screws. I will retain these factory screws just so if I ever decide to take this safe out, I don't know why I would ever decide to take this safe out. Maybe if I sold the truck and it would fit in my next truck, I'll take it out. You know, if I buy a newer model and they've not changed the glove box and it'll still fit. Or maybe if I buy a newer model and one day and even if it don't fit, maybe I want to sell this one. I can do that also. So, like I said, it is a little awkward getting down in here because you do have the, the lid that's kind of in the way. There wasn't any instructions come with this. There are two different size bolts. So I'm hoping I can tell which one needs to be the deeper bolt. It looks like the ones on this side over here will have to be the deeper ones because it looks like these holes are actually deeper than those. So just guessing that's gonna be it. Now I've seen people put these in and it's kind of hard to get these slid down in there. So hopefully we don't have an issue with that. Um, a lot of times they say, let's see here. There we go. Turn this down. And it goes right in. I scuffed that just a tad, tad bit, but that's not a huge deal. I can take a black paint pen right to the edge of them. You'll never be able to notice the difference. Um, I do still have my gun in here because I wanted to see. That's about perfect for me. I mean, my hand doesn't hit either side. It's it's right there where I want it. So that's that's pretty much perfect right there. So. That's where we're gonna have it. So let's just make sure it's torqued down real good where that won't move and it doesn't seem to be moving. So that's where we're gonna leave it, right there. All right, so you do have four washers and four bolts. Like I said, I'm not sure which one has to have the long bolt. Just looking at it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say this side over here takes a long one, this side over here takes the shorter one. Because even though that's a deeper hole, uh, yeah, I'm thinking this side over here takes the longer ones. There wasn't no instructions, so it's really hard to tell. If I put them on and, you know, this side over here actually takes the shorter one, there's no way. Maybe the 
back ones. Yeah, the back ones take the long ones and the front ones take the short ones. Now what I'm gonna do again, because I'm a little anal about this stuff, and I'm gonna be careful because I don't wanna get this inside my truck, is I am gonna put a little blue Loctite on these because I don't want this to come off or, or loosen or anything like that. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to fix, but I just don't want that to happen. So I am actually gonna put just a hair, just a, just a little touch of blue Loctite on it, not much. Put the lid back on it so I don't get that in my truck. You know, it's just a little bit. And then I'll stick it down in there. That should have started. Yep, got that and started. The back ones will take the long ones. Just clean the threads just a hair, just a little bit to make sure there ain't much oil on them. Put a little blue Loctite on it again. Put the lid back on it because I don't want to get it on my truck. And hopefully this back one's lined up. It was hard to see the back one and it started right up. Now that one started. This one right here should be fun to start because I'm not wanting to take that holster out because I've got it exactly where I want it. So I'm actually going to try to put this one in with the holster still in place. Let's see if we can do it. Probably not. But you never know, and probably not. Uh, it'll be a little more difficult, but I actually got it down in there. Maybe if I can get this on the top. I really don't want to take that holster out. And I got it started, so we're good to go there. And I didn't have to take the holster out. Not saying it's hard to get that holster back where I want it, but it's perfect right now, and that's how I want it to stay. So, a little more blue Loctite on the back one. That one in. I'm actually going to wipe this off now. I don't need it anymore because it actually has some blue Loctite on the bottom. And I really don't want to get blue Loctite on the inside of my truck. So I'm going to wipe that off. Put the lid back on it and then set it in here straight up and down. I don't need this rag anymore. Just snug these down. Snuggies down in here. These are two I really want to get snugged down because they're the ones actually going to be locked in the in the box. Okay. Snug down pretty good right there. That one snug down good. That one snug down good. And that one snug down good. And that thing is in there. It ain't going anywhere. Like I said, gun sits perfect right there. Right where I want it to be, when I want it to be there. Then it comes with a key. And if I don't use the key, you'll be able to see my combination and we're not going that route. Uh, turn that, turn it back, 
it's locked. It ain't going nowhere. You can't get into it from the side. You can't see where I screwed it in. Uh, you can still get to this piece. It's in there. You ain't getting it out. It ain't going to happen. Then if you want back in, put your key back in it or know the combination, which I do, and uh, raise it up. And there it is. It ain't going anywhere. Make sure this is tightened down good again. That's good and tight. The holster's where I want it. It's up as far as I can actually get it, and it's not gonna hit either side. It's not hitting this. It's not hitting this. So, I mean, it's, it's perfect. Then, you also have these little mats that go in the bottom, which is a good touch. Stick your little mat down in there. Stick a little mat underneath this, like so. Now you can't see your screws or anything like that. Everything's hidden, everything looks good, and everything's perfect. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. It uh, it fit the bill. Dura holsters is great. I mean, it's a perfect retention. I did put blue Loctite on these two screws down here that holds the tension on it because I once I got the tension where I wanted it, I didn't want it moving. I like the retention of the holster now. I got it perfect. So that's set. You also have this little tray here that sits down here. has a little cutout for your um, outlet here. So if you want to stick your cell phone here and run a charger to it, you can. Um, I like this little tray. I'm so happy it comes with a tray. That was the one thing that I did not like about this truck when I first got it was it didn't have a tray here. That's why I bought that other little tray. But uh, this came with the tray. I don't know if I can still set my sunglasses here because the way this right here is made, it might hit them. Um, that's what I used to use my other tray for. Um, but I still like that it has a tray so I can set some things on it. So that's the install video, quick, simple. Like I said, I'll touch this up right here. I don't have to touch that up. Nobody's ever gonna notice that. But uh, I know it's there, so I will touch that up with just a little bit of black um, black paint pen or a black marker, and uh, we'll be good to go. I like this. I really like this safe, and uh, I really love this holster. I couldn't be happier with this at all. I mean, it's, it, is, it is perfect. Um, so thanks to Sparks Parts for getting me this safe quick. Thank you, Dara Holsters, for getting me the holster quick. I really appreciate it. It's a great product. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.